you guys got to hold it up top now. I got to finish tightening that up. Hope I can get the wrench off afterwards up top. I think we're ready to try it. It's snug. Yeah, you're gonna be flopping around now. Hold on to your hat. I would like to get the wiring done. Uh, I won't be able to work on it tomorrow, maybe Thursday. So possibly we could take this for a ride on Thursday. So hold on to your hats. It'll be a 9,000 subscriber giveaway celebration of all times driving the goofy cart for the first time in two years. And with our brand new motor set up in it, oh yeah, you gotta love it. Yeah, some of you might not be aware of how small the Goofy Garage is. I'm standing in the front. Here's my bench grinders here. I think that grinder is going to go back over here where we took it from. And I'm just turning in a circle. Okay? stuff down below my uh, lathe is there more tools and stuff up there my big toolbox is over there I can't stand next to them and get a picture of them and our nut and bolt and parts organization is over there yeah Mason particle board uh, pegboard he asked about if I had pegboard or not in the goofy garage yeah we got pegboard we got pegboard everywhere and over here I'm coming across underneath that towel is my uh, relatively new press and uh, and our nice vintage Buffalo drill press really like that so uh, I have this box is going to go up underneath this shelf that holds my electrical box and you can tell my electrical box is full to overflowing and I got more stuff to put in it so we'll put that down under there. We're trying to make use of every little bit of space in here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. Of course, I just warmed it up by starting the goofy cart, but it's still comfortable to work in here. Yeah, I did. I, I, I pushed it back up. It was down to about 72, which is comfortable. I see my battery's going to die. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Have a great day, y'all. It's been a productive day for the old Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Bye now.